Welcome back. This is going to be my daily uh, forecast uh, for the indices in the uh, United States, S&P 500, and the Dow Jones, and the Nasdaq uh, for uh, September 30th, uh, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to subscribe, hit the bell button and the like button, and uh, let's get to it. So we'll start off by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we have run into resistance at this 50 moving average. It is at 3,358. And um, at this point, we will most likely um, pull back. And if we pull back significantly, if we basically stop underneath this uh, candlestick from yesterday, then that will may most likely mean that we'll go all the way down to the 100 moving average again, which is at around 3,221. Um, the technical indicators were promising uh, yesterday, uh, but you can see the RSI has completely turned around. Uh, the same goes for the MACD. It doesn't look like we are going to cross the signal line anytime soon. There is still a few hours left of training today, but, uh, but at this point, we have been rejected twice at the 50 moving average. And yes, we most likely will break down from here. If that is the case, 100 moving average has shown to be significant support. If we were to break through the 50 moving average, then we'll go target this area, which is, uh, sorry, this area here, which is at around the 3,425 level. Um, most, this probably, uh, market is probably also very at this moment because of the of the presidential debates, uh, which will uh, probably may see a lot of choppiness within the in the market uh, uh, today and also tomorrow. Um, there, there, yeah, probably. So uh, if you look at the Dow Jones. We can see a very similar uh, pattern, similar to the S&P 500. Um, and at this point, we have created a, um, a, a resistant line here, which you basically have to break through. Apart from the moving averages that we are showing to be resistant, this area, this line here will also be a resistant line that we will basically have to break through. At this moment, we have pulled back from this resistant line and this 50 moving, uh, the 50 moving average and the other expansion moving averages. And similar to the S&P 500, it seems like we are going to break down and go and retest this 100 moving average. If we were to break through here, we'll go and test this level here around 28,000 uh, before we go to this level at uh, 28,700. Uh, 28, I will to, and finally we'll go to around uh, 29,000. Of course, in the long run, we will go to these levels, uh, but just expect a lot of choppiness in, the, um, in today's trading and also tomorrow's trading, most likely due to the presidential debate. Uh, the technical indicators are not really favorable for, to the upside at this point. RSI and the MACD is quite far away from the signal line. RSI is basically pointing downwards. But however, the Zocastic has uh, uh, showing bullish momentum. But there's a lot of resistance uh, in this area here. Um, and uh, yeah, if we have a major pullback, we'll go down to the, the 100 moving average, which has shown to be quite supportive. So the Nasdaq, just get rid of these lines. So we are at the moment trading above the 50 moving average, uh, but we have pulled back ever uh, slightly. Um, compared to the other um, indexes, this is the probably the one that's most promising. Uh, however, if you look at the RSI, it has completely turned compared to yesterday's uh, trading, uh, which should be a fairly worrying sign, even though that the MACD is about to cross the signal line indicating bullish momentum and the RSI stochastic is really bullish at this point. 
So we can look at the probably the the four hour chart. And that basically shows that we're about to turn around. So, and that also coincides that we're running into this uh, uh, resistant area here at 11,400 uh, there about. So we may see the, the NASDAQ pull back from here. We have been struggling uh, with this area for quite some time. We can basically put it up here, this area here has shown to be quite resistant or significant resistant let's just say that so if we were to break down we would go most likely uh, all the way down to uh, 10,700 which was the previous support uh, i did expect this market to go much lower it may go much lower because the world economy is still uh, really bad i did expect a major pullback all the way down to 10,000 However, we are st uh, still in this area. And, and um, an another scenario is that we will probably trade within this, uh, this uh, price level of the lows of 10,700 and highs of around 11,600. That may also be the case. Um, it is quite risky to enter this market at the moment especially because there is also in the presidential election and this that can affect uh, all of these indexes quite significantly. You can look at all the fan stocks. I did a video just uh, <clears throat> earlier about the fan stocks and they are, most of them, quite negative. Uh, the, best, the one that is doing best at the moment is Facebook. However, it was up on nearly 2% and has fallen to 0. Eight and is still falling. So that is not an encouraging sign. These um, tech stocks are a massive part of the S&P 500 and also especially the NASDAQ. So what happens to them uh, affects this index significantly. So I hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button, and uh, good luck and thank you very much.